All right, guys, so today, welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about how to double your testosterone naturally if you know you're a piece of shit. So I'll tell you right now from firsthand experience, I have been a piece of shit, and it's nothing to be ashamed about, but sometimes you just got to flush your old self down the toilet and start over. So let's begin. So here's my story, guys. Five years ago, I was lost. I had just left football, which, you know, I, I actually, I knew football was the only thing that Mason was my entire life. So that was my identity. That was my purpose. That's the reason I was alive. And honestly, I thought I was going to go pro. And what happened was in college, you know, just kind of something happened with me and the coaches and all that stuff. I didn't get along with the culture and that basically ended in one day. And so what that meant for me is that Mason and who I was and the person I identified as my entire life all of a sudden just did not exist anymore. And so obviously that led to a lot of anger, resentment in the world and all types of BS. And so what happened from this? Well, basically it was a giant ego death. Um, as I said, that's what I identified as my entire life. Everything about me was external. Uh, I didn't know who Mason was other than someone who played football. And so, you know, at the time I also had a girlfriend and due to me being pissed off at the world, it led to a breakup. Um, and after that was just kind of like the nail in the coffin. Cause I was like, dude, I actually don't know anything about myself anymore. And I just feel like a piece of shit. And so I hated my life. And you can see here to the right, I drank and partied way too much to cover up the inner despair. This one on the far right here, I don't remember that. That was on Snapchat. And then cowboy dude over, yeah, I, I, this is really bad to look at. But the point is, is like I was getting trashed to make up for this, this inner hole of not knowing who I was, what I was doing, and why I was alive anymore. And so I thought that would make me feel better. But in reality, it ruined my entire life. And, you know, that that can happen whether you're in that situation right now, you've been there um, and you're just trying to find a way forward. There's no shame in it. You have to experience the dark to get into the light. And that's where we're at. So anyway, that was five years ago. Five years later, where are we now? Well, I managed at the beginning of this year to build a six figure business in two months. In one year, I've grown a following to 300,000 plus people. Um, got in the best shape of my life. I have a network and friends, people that I looked up to, you know, back when I was in this head ass stage, uh, I moved to a new city and state, which is pretty cool. Cause I'm able, I'm able to do that on my own. I'm able to support myself and life is really in my control right now. And I get to grow, expand and travel and do what I want. And this is the freedom that I was craving, you know, back then freedom from myself, freedom to be the person I know I'm meant to be. And you can see that that strength and that belief, it resonates outward. So it's like, you know, your physique is just a manifestation of your thoughts and spirit. And so when you take life in your hands, you're going to get jacked. Like when you take life in your hands and you're not working out, you're not taking life in your hands because that's honestly the gateway to all personal development, to all success. And it's just an essential thing that you need to do anyway. Otherwise, you're just a lazy piece of shit. And so what caused the low T, all right, five years ago? What was causing my low T? And I'll tell you what it was, the number exactly in a minute. But what was causing the low T looking back? Well, one was diet. I ate way too much sugar, too much processed food, no discipline. I would eat to fill a void. Like that, my hobby was eating. I love and I still love eating. Don't get me wrong. Like eating is one of my favorite things to do, but it's how you eat. It's when you eat. It's why you eat. Now I eat as a reward. You know, when I accomplish something difficult, like I would prefer to go out and have a really nice meal instead of go out and just drink. Like that's, that's more fun to me. Um, but back then I was literally like looking myself in the mirror. Damn Mason, I hate you. I'm going to go eat. A patty melt <laughs> like dude it is horrible to think about that but that's where I was in my life so I was eating to fill a void and that turned me into a piece of shit drinking well I was 
as you can see here, I had a lot of fun. But it also slows your metabolism and it ruins your body. Like, your body will get absolutely trashed. It's like taking, I mean, it's like dumping Coke into your, into your Lambo, you know? It's not going to go anywhere. You're just trashing it. So, alcohol will actually slow your metabolism. It'll mess with your hormones. It's estrogenic on its own. And so that's going to that's going to counteract all the testosterone in your body. It's going to make you weak, going to make you limp. It's okay if you manage how much you drink, if you do like a celebration, but don't get yourself to the point where it's a crutch and all those things. Cuz I was actually using it to go out and deal with my anxiety. I was using it to feel better about myself. And it's funny cuz you'll never get enough of something you don't need in the first place. Like you don't need alcohol. And I'll tell you from someone who just drank it all the time, you really do not need it. I promise you. I should have put a picture up, but I actually started a brand my sophomore year in college when I was getting fucked up all the time. I made a brand around drinking. So, you know, I wanted to turn my vice into a lifestyle and thank God that failed. So also, yeah, you'll have mental clarity issues, libido issues. You've heard of whiskey dick. Yeah, we all know that. So that's something you're going to deal with. But the biggest, most important one of low T is your mindset. So here's my levels and I'll go, I'll go into the mindset thing. So since I already went here, I'll tell you this first. My levels, guys, were down to like the low 300s. And if you don't know what that means, the average, which is a horrible range, it shouldn't be. But the average levels were, are 300 to 1,000 for men. So I was basically at the bottom. I was extremely, extremely low testosterone. And it was showing in my, my personality, how I looked, everything. And it was just, God, it was God awful. So... Um, honestly, like the average needs to be way higher and it's sad that it can be as low as 300 today. And it says a lot about our society as a whole, you know, it should be minimum 600 in my opinion, but you know, ideally you want it in like close to 800, 600 and up. Let's say today, that's a pretty good number. I haven't got mine checked in a while, but I'll get into the numbers and all that stuff. So anyway, with the mindset thing I was talking about is if you tell yourself a loser, you're going to be a loser. And it's going to reflect in your body and your testosterone naturally goes, testosterone goes to the winners. So if you're telling yourself you're a loser and you're acting like a loser and behaving like a loser, you're just going to have low T. You're also going to have a lot of cortisol, which is your stress hormone. And that's going to keep T from thriving. So anyway, let's keep going because we'll get into that. I'm just hopping around right now. Honestly, I could not give a fuck, but I do give a fuck at the same time. Five months later from that point where my levels were down to 300, I had them up to the high 500s. So basically doubled my testosterone, hence the name of this video. So what was the difference here? Oops. Oh, so what I changed, I'll go in order. <clears throat> Diet, number one. Got more disciplined. It wasn't even the biggest change I did, but I was limiting my processed food. It's cutting out the sugar. I was just watching what I eat instead of just binging. So it was the first time I really controlled my eating and been conscious of it. And so that was a huge change for me. I also started learning more about nutrition at that time and Googling all that stuff. Drinking, I cut it out. I cut out, I went cold turkey. It was hard. I was anxious all the time. My body was convinced that I needed it to feel centered and grounded. I would go out sober, guys. I would literally go out solo because my friends at the time didn't want to do anything. I was just, I wanted to party literally six nights out of the week because I thought it was my purpose. And it was the only thing like, I, I just couldn't sit with my thoughts. So what I was doing is I was forcing myself to go out sober. And it is, listen, when you're like used to drinking to go out, it's one of the hardest things you can do. Like, I, I get it if you're in that position. But forcing yourself to do it, after a while, you realize like everyone is just thinking in their own world. No one is even thinking about you. And all the stress, the anxiety, the thoughts that you have, they start to take less control over you. And you notice that 
They're just there. They just exist. And honestly, no one cares. And now I'm, I'm at a point in my life where honestly, I don't even want to drink anymore. I really don't. And when I go out, it's usually sober and I have more fun than I did when I was drunk. And, you know, how a good indicator of how you know you're doing great when you're going out sober is when someone will ask you, literally, they'll say, are you drunk? And you're like, no, I'm sober. And they're like, really? <laughs> that means you're vibing. That means you're doing your thing. You're being yourself. And that gets you the best results. And honestly, like I would rather go out sober now anyway. I, I run a business. I got things to do. I don't want to mess up my flow. And you know, drinking does that for me, especially when you have to take a whole day to recover. Because it's like for me, I'm very all or nothing. Um, and I know a lot of you are too. But yeah, like it's just it's not even worth it for, for me anymore. And it lowers how I feel. When you kind of when you start to raise your vibration, doing all these low vibrational activities just it hits you. 20 million times worse than it did before you understood or had awareness of anything. And so last part is the mindset. It's the most important one. This is the biggest factor because as I said, if your thought patterns are of a loser, you will have low T. It's just how it's going to be. Your cortisol is high from stress. And the way cortisol works is when cortisol is high, think of it like a teeter totter. Cortisol is high. Testosterone cannot Okay, so it's a backwards teeter-totter. It's an anti-gravity teeter-totter. Anyway, when cortisol is too high, testosterone cannot thrive. And so what happens is when you lower cortisol, which is your stress hormone activated in uh, fight or flight, when you're in fight or flight, your body's not focused on thriving as much as it is surviving. So you have to get out of a survival state and get into a thriving state. Hence the name testosterone, which starts with the T. So we want to get in the thriving state of life because when you're thriving, your testosterone is able to be high. That's why you see all these guys with high T are very calm, very collected, less stress. And I won't lie, like I'm a very type A personality person. I've dealt with stress a lot in my life. That's one of my biggest things. I have a lot of anxiety issues. But meditation, all that stuff has helped me become more calm, collected. So when I go in public, I can talk to people extremely grounded. And it becomes magnetic because I'm just very centered in who I am. I'm not worried about what they think about me. And I can do exactly what I just did where you can just sit with the silence and be comfortable. And that's the most important thing is can you sit with your own silence? And when you have a lot of thoughts racing through your head, stressful thoughts, it's hard to sit with them. But once you can accept that they're there and not interact and just let the cars go by in traffic, instead of being like Frogger and jumping into it and getting smoked, that's, that's when the results will come. And so anyway, testosterone is rewarded to the winners of a tribe. And this was a whole study. You can go Google, Google that on your own. But basically the alpha male of the tribe, and I hate this whole alpha culture thing today because um, they think it's like this loud, obnoxious person. It's not. Like I'm – in all honesty, like I normally end up as the alpha of every situation I get into. But I don't sit there saying that. I just know it. I'm grounded in myself and – my control within myself resonates outward. And if you understand hermetic law as above, so below, that's a whole different thing I can get into. Let me know in the comments if that's like a series you'd like me to make. And check out my TikTok if you haven't because I made a whole playlist on that. Got millions of views. So check out the hermetic law playlist. Let me know if you want to make some law, um, you know, longer videos of that on how to use it in your life. But anyway, the alpha of a tribe um, – you know, the person at the top normally has higher T. That's just how it is. That's nature. T is rewarded. Um, and so you need to start stacking wins. Everything you do, you need to see it as a win. Uh, you know, whether you get up, you get your glass of water and you start making that habit for a week, those are wins. You need to be proud of that. You're, you need to be proud of yourself. If you're not proud of yourself, you're not going to have high T. All right. So everything you need to see it as a win. How am I winning? How is this loss a win? How can I turn this into a win? 
How is this in my benefit? And if you start looking for that, I guarantee you your life is going to change. And that's the same as affirming new beliefs. This one is so important. Affirm new beliefs. All the bullshit that's been in your head, you need to take that and you need to stiff arm that bitch into a different universe. Who you are, who you want to be. This person has to go. Bye, bitch. We're not doing that person anymore. We need to become a new person. That starts with new beliefs and new habits. What's a great way to start doing that? My favorite one of all, if you've watched my TikToks, which most of you have, you have it, get your ass over there. Speak your truth. Say what is true to you. When you hold yourself back, you tell the universe, you tell yourself that you're weak and you're not worthy of having an opinion. And what happens when you cage yourself, when you limit yourself and hold yourself back? Well, since everything is connected, your body is going to manifest that feeling of holding yourself back. So what do you think is going to be constricted? Everything that helps you thrive. Testosterone. So speak your truth. If you hate Biden, fucking say it. I hate Biden. I also know he's a puppet. I also know the world is owned by clowns and conglomerates and corporations that don't have your best interests at heart. I think the medical industry and MDs have no idea what the fuck they're talking about and are indoctrinated in the system. And I think that every single food corporation is owned by the same group of people that want to control your entire life and turn you into a slave. What I just did is super simple. It's not easy, but you have to get to a point you're comfortable in saying that. And then finally, you need to meditate. And it doesn't have to be the OM type of meditation. You don't have to do that. It's not, it's not needed. But what you do need to do is you need to work on becoming present, gain awareness, witness your thoughts, accept your thoughts and also forgive them and then rewire yourself consciously. So how do you do this? Well, my favorite method is called the warrior's meditation and here's some resources you can use. So number one book that changed my life was the power of now all about presence, all about being in the present moment. It literally changed. It changed my life. Um, after that is the warrior's meditation. This one also changed my, my life. This is a, method that I use and I'm doing it actually right now while I talk to you. And so basically what it is, it's, it's a uh, method of meditation that the samurais would use in battle. And so they obviously didn't have much time to react to swords, all these things going around. So they needed a way to tap into their flow state in the present moment almost automatically. And so how did they do that? Well, through this warrior meditation method, whole thing, you can go into the book, basically, you program different triggers into your body and so you can tap into the state super quick. And then we also have meditations you can get on the brand website, the stampedenetwork.com. Um, there's the Olympus meditations for men and women. Diet change. You need to do this. Cut out processed foods. Also, there is a free grocery list on the website. There's also a nutrition guide. Dead ass guys, this brand we, we give you everything you need to be successful in life free. Like no other company is doing that because we genuinely, I want you to change. Like I'm the leader of this thing. I've made it because you come first. All right. You're the most important one. So we genuinely want you to change. That's why we're giving you resources free. So please, for the love of God, go use them. We have people who lost 10 pounds using the grocery list alone. Like you can do it. There's literally no excuses. All right. So cut out your processed foods. Drop the white sugary carb. That's like white bread, your bullshit cakes and muffins and cut. Get rid of that. Rule of thumb when you're eating. When And, you know, for the most part, you want to eat whole foods. So like chicken is chicken, fruit is fruit. But if it's something that is a product, rule of thumb is five ingredients or less, ideally, 
but you have to be able to pronounce every single one of the ingredients and they can't clearly be synthetic. All right. So sugar or monk fruit versus acesulfame potassium. You get the idea. All right. And then you need high protein intake and a quality protein intake. And what you want to do is you want to get about 1 to 1.5 grams per pound of protein um, per, of you know grams of protein per pound of body weight. You can even go to 0.8, but that's as low as you can go. You need this much because is you're going to cut off fat from eating this protein, which is naturally going to satiate you, which means it fills you up. You're also going to burn fat, and you need to keep your muscle. You don't want to lose your muscle. So try a, car, a modified carnivore style diet. This is what I do. So you can add in some fruits and veggies, minimal carbs, um, sourdough, sweet potato, and limited quantity. Use the free grocery list. I'm dead ass. Okay, and so water. You need aim for a gallon per day. That's your goal. Like this one is uh, 24 ounces. So I drink like I drink like five, six of these a day. And what that does is it clears out the toxins, all the BS in your body, increases your metabolism. It's putting oil in your Lambo for it to go from. And we all want the Lambo to go from. Sunlight. Get your ass in the sunlight at least 30 minutes per day. That is non-negotiable. We are not meant to sit inside all day as a human. That's just not what we do. You need to be on the sun. It interacts with your skin, interacts with your hormones. You've got to be in it. If you're not, find some fucking way. Get a red light. Sun your boys in that. Because studies show that it has a 200% increase alone. But see this as a supplement. I do it every day. You've seen my videos and TikTok, all that stuff. But listen, get your ass in the sunlight. It's like Superman. You got to do that so you can fly. Then after that, you push yourself and you need to go to war. This goes along with the mindset. So this is the physical aspect of it. Here's, here's a little split you can do, guys. So you need to lift and lift heavy. Focus on the compound lifts, so multiple muscles. All right? And that's extremely important because we want to get our whole body involved, especially when you're used to being a sack of shit. Bench, squat, deadlift, press, pull-ups, dips, get the message. All right? And so follow this cycle. What you want to do every time you lift is you either want to – well, you want to increase one of each of these every time you lift. So one day you go in, increase your weight. Next one, increase your volume. After that, increase your intensity and just keep cycling through. You just want to keep cycling through. And it doesn't matter what split you do. That is a rule of thumb. You want to increase your weight, increase your volume, increase your intensity. If you do that, there's no way in hell if you track it that you do not grow. So make that a priority and follow that. The best split, in my opinion, and what got me the most results, is legs doing legs two to three times per week. It's where your testosterone is going to come from because it's the hardest thing you can possibly fucking do. It sucks at the beginning. I hated it at the beginning. But you know what? Once you get momentum with it, you get used to that feeling of the, the tea flowing through your system, and there's nothing like it. And it also turns you on a little bit. You start to get turned on for leg day. So do it. You get rewarded like XP in a video game. You get those experience points for hitting legs and challenging yourself. You get more, po more points for doing harder quests. That's how it is. So my favorite split I did. Um, this is I do, I do more three, four times a week now because I'm not as focused on bodybuilding. It's more so uh, you know business optimized since I have to run a whole business. But my, when I was just going balls to the walls, and this is the one I really recommend you do, it was upper body heavy, lower body heavy, upper body volume, lower body volume, upper body um, body weight, and then lower body weight, and then a cardio day. And you want to make that something fun. So I would do either like combat sports, biking, running, whatever. Just make it fun. Enjoy it. And do something you can win. Like if you like doing football or basketball or some shit, go do that. It's fun. You can also download the Spartan Challenge on the website. It is a challenge. It's like 75 hard, um, but it's 75 hard with actual instruction, layout for the program. It also makes sure that you have purpose training, mindset uh, training, 
nutrition. So literally in this Spartan challenge, you have everything you need. It's a four week challenge. Um, and you can follow this, download this. It will take you through this program and this will get you in the best shape of your life. I guarantee it. You can run it over and over. There's also a free body weight program. Supplements you can add. Ashwagandha. What does this do? Helps control cortisol. As we said, when cortisol is controlled, when it goes down, it allows T to go up and thrive. So ashwagandha is great for that. It's an adaptogen. Magnesium and zinc. These are two supplements that we lack in our, in our society. We need these to, like really, really fucking bad. Um, they will help your body create testosterone. So these are in our Zeus Lightning capsules, which are on the website. You check those out. We will be releasing those to the public um, or announcing it to the public. They're out, but we haven't really pushed it yet. But we're already getting sales coming in, a bunch of recurring orders. So check those out. We got magnesium and zinc in there, um, as well as a bunch of other uh, you know, vitamins, herbs, all types of things that you need to boost your tea. Boron, something I was taking for a little bit. It did help. Something you may notice when you take it is that when you pee, it's going to be almost like neon. It looks like it looks like this sign, <laughs> dead ass. It'll look like this light. Um, so boron is a weird one, but you know I was doing some research on it. I definitely was feeling some differences every now and then, but um, maybe that one is a placebo. Try it out though. Definitely though, ashwagandha, magnesium, and zinc. Those are the most important ones. Again, on our website, we have you covered for those things. Quality sourced in the U.S good shit. And the most important sup, the most important one of all is a high protein quality diet with your saturated fats, grass fed butter. It helps with your cholesterol production, hormones, all types of things. And so that is extremely important to um, testosterone. If you don't have that, you're not going to get that boost. So that's it. Like it's that simple that if you guys take those things, listen to me, if you take what I just told you, save this video, share it with your boys, share it with everybody, because this is a masculinity literally is so fucked today. Men are weak as shit. So you sharing this with someone is actually going to change the world. I'm not even saying that, you know, obviously subscribe, get them to subscribe, but like you are making an impact by sharing this video because this is stuff that needs to be out in the world. It is extremely important. You can see that with the Tate stuff. It needs to be said. Um, so take these things. Go check out the website. We have all the resources you need. Dead ass. Like it's all there for you. So you can check that out. Um, subscribe. Go add me on all my other socials, at Mason Core on everything. Listen to the podcast and go conquer the universe and yourself. That's all we got. Uh, thanks for this video. Drop any video suggestions and questions you guys have got. Still really trying to figure out like the best niche. It's it's turning into the um, you know high performance for men type of thing, male entrepreneurs. So that's kind of the direction we're taking. I love the women. Um, women audience. So I want to help you guys as well too. But it seems like a lot of guys are looking up to me for that like masculine uh, leadership. But anyways, I'm open to all suggestion. I'm also going to start like documenting like business lessons, all those things to help you guys out and free you from this matrix. So we can do it together. Um, but yeah, anyway, do those things I mean a lot. I appreciate it. I'm putting all this out free for you. So that's all that I ask in return. Anyways, Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your support. I'll see you in the next video.